We haven't talked about racing at all, Kelvin. And obviously this is a, a huge, huge part of your life. Um, I read something that it said that your first venture into racing was the 2012 Silverstone Classic. Is that true or were you not racing minis before that? Yeah, I started racing minis that year. So I think the Silverstone Classic was July and I did my first race in April. So I just got my racing license that, that year. Because I was in that race as well. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you, Dave? I was in that same race, yeah. And I, I read this the other day and I kind of thought, God, I was in that because there was, uh, JK was in there, you won. Yeah. JK yeah. was in there. Brian Johnson was in there. Yeah, uh, there was talent. all sorts of people, and we were we were racing Morgans. The Morgans. What a great oh. experience! It was bizarre, but uh, I didn't realise that you'd only really start very very close to then. Yeah, I I got my uh, I've been to the Autosport show like we did every year. Uh, never done any gold car or anything like that, apart from the odd stag do. Um, but was a huge spectator, a huge motorsport fan. So I was watching Jason regularly, watching British Touring Cars, uh, British Superbike, World Superbike, MotoGP. I was watching everything and uh, as a spectator. And as I was on TV, I was lucky enough to mix in certain circles and be able to get hospitality at certain events. So, mm -hmm. But I'd never considered racing because I just didn't have the time or just thought, I'd, you know, that I'd, I'd kind of missed the ball. I was 28 years old. And then at the Autosport Show, they had a classic mini on the BRSCC stand and um, for the Mighty Minis. And me and my dad stopped and reminisced and said, do you remember when you bought me a Mini when I was 13 mm -hmm. and we used to fix it? And the guy came over and we said, what's this championship? He said, oh, it's a standard car, um, just with a roll cage and different different um, um, shock absorbers. Other than that, it's, it's club racing, entry yeah. level, and it's probably about 300 quid a weekend. And we looked at each other and said, well, what, shall we give it a go? What, what do I need to do? And within a week, I called him and says, listen, I've never done, what do I need to do? He says, Get yourself an ARDS, an ARDS license. So I went and did that. I went, I rang him up. I said, is anybody selling a car? Um, I don't fancy building one. He said, one guy's just about to step up in class. He's got a car for sale in Harrogate. I went and bought a car. Managed to blag some free overalls, a free helmet. Uh, <laughs> booked, booked, a, booked a track day. Uh, Ult Ulton Park. I'd never done a track day before. It was hailstoning. Went, turned up with this mini on the back of a trailer. Me and my dad were just buzzing around like hooligans and these Cosworths and Subarus and mixed bushes past fly past us and we were just loving it and uh and then and then two weeks later I rocked up at Ulton Park for my first ever race with a big X on the back with no aspirations you know everyone's got the motor arms and I'm thinking bloody hell this is a bit serious you know and I'm like I thought this championship was just you, you arrive and drive they're all tweaking their engines and I'm I said to one guy next to me hey, you know what what you what what what's your tire pressures be at and he said 25 psi I'd asked someone else, he, th he said 35, so I'm like, oh, I'll just do 130. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. You know, I've got, apparently I've got 30 clicks on the shocks. Do, oh, I'll just go 15 clicks all around and just go. And I've gone fingered and um, you get 15 minutes qualifying. I'd had a couple of mates come and watch me. We'd camped out the night before. I've never camped out with my dad, um, you know, and that me and him was in a tent on the concrete the night before in a two-man tent. So in itself yeah, yeah. racing, this was... That's and it still is to this day. That's what racing's about. It's the weekend. Mm. It's the family. It's the because I've not come through the ranks of of gold kart or anything. I've just been a fan. I've been on the fence, looking in, and now I was inside. So I was yeah. just felt you know, and um, you know, don't get me wrong. I was I was financially independent, but you know, spending four or five grand a year was was my limit. You know, that was I had a nice Ferrari F four thirty sat next to my mini with my yeah. two man tent, but that was the balance that I thought was I wasn't prepared to go and spend. 30 grand a year racing, you know, in a different class because I was, I couldn't afford it. And that, that for me, mini racing at that level was, was, was a great balance. Mm. And, um, and that was it. Yeah. I had, I think I had three races and then I was asked to do the celebrity classic Terry Grant. Um, um, yeah. The, the stunt driver, you the, know, the fruitcake that is Terry Grant. <laughs> the, yeah. The absolute legend, uh, yeah. who I had amazing, some amazing nights with just said, Kelvin, if you've been asked, would you fancy doing that? I said, yeah, I'd love to do it. But, uh, I've never been asked. He said, oh, well, I, I, can, I can put a call in for you. And uh, I was asked to do it. And again, I went in there completely under the radar, really, because there was some very high-profile people. Nobody really knew who I was. and They all saw you go and pass them at speed. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. you had this kind of process. Because there was Heston Blumenthal was there and Sir Patrick Stewart was there. And, and then suddenly, as I say, you just went... I was like, who's that? A bloody... <laughs> it's Kelvin Fletcher from Emmerdale. He's rapid. <laughs> I had, a, I had a touch, you see, on the Friday. I think you all had a test on the Friday. I couldn't make it because I was filming. When I arrived on Saturday, the cars had already been allocated and it was a case of where they let the celebrities in and you meet the owners and you pick your cars. 
Mm. Now there's V8s, V6s and, and, and four cylinders. Yeah. So all the V8s, naturally, a V8, yeah, I'll have that one, it's more 300, but I'll have that one. And I was left, the car, there was a couple of cars that had not been allocated. And it was this lady's car, she was apparently always finishing at the back, four cylinder, and uh, and all the V8s had been taken, all the other cars had been taken. And because I couldn't make the test day on the Friday, I just had to, I was had to have this. So I got chatting to her. And she said, it's not as powerful as the others, darling, but it's really nimble. It's low, honestly, you'll really enjoy it. And I thought that was the best thing because on the on the straights, everybody seemed to go off into the distance, but the corners, it, I could just, I didn't need to brake. I just powered straight through and, mm. you know, that was it. So again, maybe, you know, maybe somebody played a helping hand there.